This day is historic. It marks the beginning of a new era in the life of our great country. And for this significant achievement, I say thank you to God and to fellow Kenyans, I say congratulations. Ongera tena san. We have emerged triumphant. We can now look back with satisfaction at how much we have over the past decade consulted each other about how best our society should be governed. We have in the process written and rewritten numerous drafts of our constitution until we overwhelmingly approved the final edition in a public referendum early this month, paving the way to these day's celebrations. Many countries around the world have moved forward to set the stage for a brighter future for their people. For us Kenyans, this day marks the beginning of our renaissance. We have taken the first, indeed the boldest step in transforming our country into a great nation. We are now set to recapture and restore our independence dreams and aspirations, the dreams of a united and a prosperous nation. Under the new constitutional order, we will be able to reclaim our dignity as a people. Justice will be guaranteed for all, while our God-given national resources will be exploited for the benefit of all. And on their part, leaders will be accountable to the people of Kenya. Indeed, we will all become servant leaders. Kenyans for more walks of life will be fully on board the bus of destiny. The youth, the aged, the disabled, and women who have traditionally been marginalized will now be fully included in social and political processes as a matter of constitutional right. In short, Kenyan nationalism has shifted from a dream to a reality under the new constitutional order. Fellow Kenyans, the dawn of the new era also portends tremendously well for our national pride, our national prestige, and image in Africa and the world. By the single act of inaugurating a new and quality constitution, we have regained our honor. We shall regain the pride our heroes and our sportsmen and sportswomen, such as Kipchoge Keino, Ben Jipcho, Catherine Dreva, Chelimo, and most recently Rudisha, have bestowed upon us and continue to raise our flag in the eyes of the world. We shall, once more, be proud to profess that we are Kenyans. There is, Your Excellency and Excellencies, a sense in which our achievement in passing a new constitution marks an important beginning in the journey towards a new social and economic era for our country and our people. We must not lose sight of the reality that poverty and social distress is now the outstanding challenge that is facing us today. A lot of us have lived in and understand the enormity and dehumanizing characteristics of poverty and deprivation. Poverty truly hurts. Therefore, time has come for every Kenyan to roll up his or her sleeves and work to create wealth, wealth and conquer poverty. We must create opportunities for investment in order to expand our economy and create jobs. The long queues of men and women walking from Kibera, from Kawangware, from Madare, from Odiru, and other suburban areas to our industrial area and the city center going to work in the morning must be replicated in the afternoon and evening as we move closer towards a 24-hour economy. This new dawn we only come once we shed off destructive and ethnic-based leadership and embrace a high moral value-based leadership style. Such kind of leadership must focus on addressing economic and social needs of our people. Finally, fellow Kenyans, as we celebrate this great day, we should reflect upon the great sacrifices that others in the past and present have made in bringing our nation this far. We had our independence freedom fighters, such as Ezekiel Apindi, Okoyot Kotaleo Samoe, Mora Mokangiti, Waiyaki Wahinga, Muindu Ambingu, Field Marshal Deren Kimadi, W. W. Awori, Mekatililu Amenza, and of course Mze Jomo Kenyatta, and the rest of the Kapenguria Seven, among several others. The NAG dream, personified by such luminaries as our own Professor Angari Madai, the late Michael Kijana Wamalwa, 
among others, and the moral high ground it is espoused has now, in earnest, been, re been realized. Kenyans now rightfully belong. And now I turn to you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, and again I say thank you. You have done us proud. You have led us all to the Second Republic, one that holds promise of a better future and good tidings. Mr. President, you will leave behind an unassailable legacy that will change the fortunes of this country forever. And to you, my brother, Prime Minister Raila Molodinga. Thank you. Thank you for standing strong and running the marathon towards a new constitution with such vigor and determination. Wa Kenya wenzang, katiba hii tunayozindua siku ya leo ni dhihirisho la mwanzo mpya na mwelekeo mpya wa taifa letu la Kenya. Katiba hii itatuwezesha kufikia ufanisi mkubwa katika safari yetu ya kujenga taifa thabiti na lenye uongozi utakaoimarisha uchumi wetu na kuwanufaisha wa Kenya wote popote walipo hasa uongozi katika vita dhidi ya adui msalia ambaye ni umaskini Kenya hoye katiba mpya hoye asanteni sana long live Kenya god bless Kenya god bless you all